Okay, quick tutorial here. First, you're going to go to freeonlinesurveys.com, and then you're going to have a link here that's going to ask you somewhere on this page to create a new account. This is free. Go ahead and go through that process and create your new account. So I'm going to click to create a new project. I'm going to create a survey. I'm going to enter the name of my survey. Click Next Step. And then it's going to take me to the point where it's going to ask me to create questions. So for the purpose of this project, what we're going to do for our question type is we're going to choose opinion scale. We're going to be using a Likert scale. And you know, uh, we're not using questions, we're using statements. So I'm going to type a statement here, whatever it is I want. Um, having you create a, a five point Likert scale. So to edit this scale, I'm clicking off of my question. So when I click somewhere else on the web page underneath the question, it then brings up this option of settings. So I'm just hovering above this question. And when I go to settings, I'm going to come down to my scale and I'm going to change my range from one to five. And that'll going to just click off that box. And now I can see I have from one to five. And then we want to go ahead and word this scale and say, you know, strongly against, um, you know, strongly agree. I think the phrasing I used was strongly disagree. So let me change that here. So we're going to have three statements in our project, so I'm going to add another question. And again, I'm going to choose an opinion scale. I have the Likert scale. I'm going to go ahead and apply. Again, I'm going to put, you know, whatever my next statement is, right? Um, I can click off the question here and then click settings and go through that same process of choosing one to five and then changing the wording down here to, you know, strongly disagree and strongly agree. Now once I'm done adding the questions, I'll scroll back up to the top. I'm going to click the send button. It's going to want you to pay. I'm just going to scroll down here and click continue as a free user. And once I do that, it gives me this URL. So I can click that URL or I can share in some other ways. Because we are sharing this um, with students in class, I'm OK with you posting on the discussion board to share your link. All right, obviously, you would just copy and paste the link and put it in a discussion post. Um, um, or feel free to share your survey with some of your friends uh, and social media as well. Now, once everyone has completed, you're going to continue, excuse me, you're going to click the results button. And the results button for my survey is going to show me my three questions. So here's question one. Here's question two for my sample uh, example survey. Here's question three. You're going to notice that all three of these are providing graphs for you. Now, in the project, I'm asking you to give me the mean of each statement or, or question and the standard deviation. So here's the weighted average. This is the mean. And here's the standard deviation. So when you're in our project, you can come down here and fill in for statement one that mean and that standard deviation. Another part of the submission for this project is to create some graphs. Since this tool already provides graphs for us, we could just screenshot. And then once we screenshot, we can come into our Word document and we can insert a particular picture for my submission. This should address everything you need to know for the survey. If you have any other questions, please reach out to me.